Yeah, take him with us. Yeah. We'll go nail him to the wall of the jail. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, once they've started nailing shit to people, it's now time to nail people uh, to shit. I mean, this is... It's cyclical. Me. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's the cycle of nails. <laughs> they started it. Okay, but see, here's here's the thing. No, no, we're walking up there so I can throw this at him. <laughs> but here's... That's why I'm the party leader. I'm a big thank. It, it, you know, you get up to his broadcast studio and you're like, Hey, Goldis, check this out. You put his face down and you've got, no, you've got his arms and body on fucking rope and you're like swinging it around. And you're like, Oh, look at me. I'm deep, 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 deep. And, oh. Hunting. God. Yeah, this is, this is hunting. Hold on. <laughs> that deer was harder to kill than the ones in, uh, the Call of the Wild. <laughs> Dude, that game is fucking hard. Like, I shoot a deer in the face with a 243 and they're like, Nah. Where did his body go? Where did- oh no. Did it slide down the hill? Oh, it did. We must find it now. I think it went for a ride. Ah, uh, bear. The bear's not impressed by 223. No, it's, it's not impressed. <laughs> Fucking 4570. Where did his body go? This is BS. I bet we carried it too far and they took it from us. Damn it. No, but I was gonna say, you get his arms and legs on ropes and pulleys, and then you just, like, make him move around, and you're like, Hey, my name's John C. <laughs> and you, like, make it walk around, and you're like, It'd be cool if you guys all went home and never talked about the cult ever again. Taser on his face so the muscles twitch. <laughs> They're like, uh, what? Dude, remember the power of yes. yours? <laughs> There's, like, flies everywhere. <laughs> Oh, cool, is that a Firebird? Hold on, I, I know there's... That's, oh, that looks fun. I thought that was that's, a that's compressor. An air compressor. Yeah, it's good. burning? I it's, just blew up an air compressor by shooting at it's it. A, dude, these French guys don't know how shit works. Oh, look at that guy. Explosivo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going to mortar us. Because they know exactly where we are, like magic. You know, I think that they didn't give us enough explosives in this game. Because, you know... Handmade explosives is kind of the American thing. What I need is I need a random to blow yourself up whenever you're using handmade explosives. Oh yeah, I mean, it, and, and it needs to be random containers, like, oh, it's a proximity thing, but it's like a Tickle Me Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> or a Furby. Welcome to the- go buy Tupperware. Yeah. Like the sheep charges. Yeah, we gotta go buy it. Get, get, get on Amazon. Give me some. Give me some of that Tupperware. But not the name brand stuff. It's too thick. We need like the dollar store. Let's go to the dollar. Let's go to the pack and suds. Uh, oh, look at that guy. <laughs> this is great. Look at him. He's stuck. He's stuck in the thing. Oh, <laughs> I blew up. I wish you could hold down a button, tape all of your dynamite together. And then have the have the generator, so you just roll it toward them. Oh, I'm wearing a lot of armor. <laughs> no, no, fucking no. I like how they have these giant plastic jugs of drink water. Something. It's, it, it's labeled drinking water because, as we all know, drinking water it stays fine as you put it in giant plastic jugs. I love how the physics reacted on them too. It's uh, it's pretty impressive work there. I think so. What's, what's this guy's deal? Not so not. The only difference between these heavy guys and the normal ones is the M35 helmet. Oh my god, dude. 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 Come here. I'm worried. <laughs> Fiesta Pale I strikes told you again. They have tails. I know, I know. Although these are black tails. All of the ones in the. Uh, it's called a pocket the... pail. Uh, it's their uh, competitor. Oh yeah, because 4570 doesn't work around a plastic drum. Oh, that was on our side. Oh. Okay. Oops. I think these bunks are too short. I mean, call me crazy, but... Oh, that's, that's definitely a kid-sized bunk. Yeah, that's... yeah. Yeah, you, you'd be pulling your knees up a little bit for that. Waking in the middle of the night a lot. Anyways, look, I'm gonna Molotov things now. Yeah. I think that's only fair. I mean, why not just seal them all in here and laugh? Just, just chain the door? No, I just seal everything up and then like, uh, gum up the mechanism with epoxy and be like, okay, bye. 
Enjoy your apocalypse. Oh, you've just accidentally become a uh, vault tech experiment. <laughs> oh. Now what the fuck is this shit? This shit. What is this? Do you see? <laughs> That's like red dragon shit. It's so dumb. What's she doing? What's in the thermos? Ma'am, would you please look at what you're doing? You're not even typing anything. What, what is she? These are just white lines. You don't say anything. Yeah, it says follow Deputy Hudson. It's, it's Deputy Hudson Cones codes exclusively in wing games. Yeah, because we know all that has an announcer. Fucking Star Trek rules. Oh look, it's Cultus. <laughs> hey, when does cover not work? When it's on fire. Why can't I weaponize one of these pallet jacks? Pallet jacks are fucking dangerous. Oh man, I tried to shoot it out with a metal militia there. <laughs> he beat me up. I'm sorry, I don't care how much armor you're wearing. If I'm wielding an M60 at 10 feet, you lose. Well, you, you look at him, he's got nothing special except for the metal M35 helmet. Yeah, everything now, else is the same shit. Now, what would be. Aware. But what would be crazy is if the guy came. Why, okay, why do they have an old reel to reel machine running? Like, <laughs> the only way to play is not. Or the only way to win is not to play. Like, what, what is this, the fucking whopper down here? I've always kind of understood that these were supposed to be abandoned government bunkers that they purchased or whatever. Yeah, well, they'd strip but those why out. Why are there four of them in this single county? Yeah, if you care about the plot of this game, then I weep for your soul. Because you've obviously done a great job. I think some drugs would make this firefight better. Oh, God, yeah. A little bit of honey oil would have made this fucking great. <laughs> well, I, I was just shooting bliss barrels to try and... Oh, I, I thought you meant, like, drug of choice. I was gonna say some, like, strong, strong hash oil, and then just sit there and glaze, like, just run through a rainbow-soaked firefight. Backup's on the way. Don't need it. I'm quite good, thank you. <laughs> I am murder machine. No, I, I I got this, guys. All right, I am uh, I am I am dead. You are dead. I am in the center. I think I'm lost. Oh, well that's fine. I'll I'll give up so I can respawn. But there's a bad I man. Got him through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually kind of impressive. What, what kind of silo does this? No, no, wait. No, we're, this is the right, here, follow me. You gotta override something, don't worry about it. I get an idea. That idea is called violence. All right, look at this guy, I see him through the wall. <laughs> it's your uh, law enforcement senses. They're tingling. I see miscreants. I, oh my God, I got nailed again. Rule number one is don't fuck with the police. Rule number two, Refer back to rule number one. Uh, I was I was gonna say rule number two. It's sidearm Mac Ten. I got nine Mac 10 nines. Is an excellent law enforcement option. I would think so for like Caracas. God, I get nailed again. They they're just murdering the shit out of me. Oh, there's just a li oh my god, fuck. Then I'm down again. Like this this is this is amazing gameplay. <laughs> yeah, come on, right above us. Oh my god, I'm gonna die and fall down that ladder. Oh there no, we go. thank Christ. Why does everything have to blow up? I mean, I think it'd be much funner if we just poured concrete into their uh, air air intake and we're like, bye. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the final mission, is you have to mix the ready creep. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, it's just mix the ready creep. <laughs> it's, a, it's a quick time event. <laughs> It's a quick time event, and everyone stands around laughing as you hear, like, the gulp pounding on the door. <laughs> <Just, laughs> we're like, no, you eat your fucking Bible. <laughs> the first step is to chain the door shut so you can't leave, and then you just fill in all the vents. Yeah, and it does the, uh, and it starts playing that, uh, that song, um, it, it starts playing that song, Freeze Frame. Dan, 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 dan. <laughs> it's a fucking montage of your guys just doing stupid stuff back in the dump truck up concrete going in all standing around laughing you hear people yelling Writing their names in it yeah <laughs> it's 
See, this is this would be a much better ending to the game. The fun, because I wouldn't let people choose. Like, look, I know what you did in the game, but do you want the fun ending or do you want the shit ending? How's he in my dream again? <laughs> no, it hasn't. I'm not. I just assume that he's. These are like Facebook Live videos. That he's sent. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was like Facebook Live videos and like people just downvote. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested. It's just a don't don't kill innocent civilians, and I'm like, I I just I just want to buy stuff. <laughs> like, does it know me that bad? I haven't seen that. I don't. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Lighten them up. Like what? I I just made what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh yeah, it's time for another one of these. The Prelinger Archives are good friends. <laughs> that eagle oh, looks. Man. Wow, that that eagle looks like he left to no good. This this is clearly only the highest production value, even for the '60s. Yeah, they couldn't even straighten it. <laughs> Look at this riotous mob, demanding a 40-hour work week. Oh Fun. man, that was good stage makeup. Yeah. Hey, they're testing <laughs> that guy's shocks. And the criminally insane <laughs> oh, bust out the window. No, they couldn't afford that. They couldn't even afford blanks. I, I also love how the guy has like... They, it, their, their whole gang has like five bullets. There's, there's like six of them! Jesus fucking Christ! ...can safely enforce weakness on the violence. And establish the control. Meekness on the violence. There's an authoritarian action. phrase for you. Oh God! The <laughs> that's that's a bit much. Are you sure that's not just a grenade? Where's all that metal going? <laughs> uh, into people's ankles. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, so wow. Uh, not only does it get like so hot you can't hold it, because that's what they all do, but it bounces around so they can't grab it to try and throw it back to you. Truly, a, uh, a innovation of in tear gas. I, I think this is also amazing that this is all in cursive. <laughs> sir, I can't well, it was, read it. It was a different time. Yeah, but it's like, sir, I can't read it. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> These are the things that contain the bang gas. In here are the metal fragments which will destroy their liver. Are those pipe bombs on the bottom? <laughs> Holy shit! They, oh, yeah. This one kills children. This one will destroy a small house, and this last one is a shell that we'll use in the 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. This one will destroy- I think, I think you're correct. <laughs> this one is phosphine gas. We don't use that one. It's a secret tool that'll help us later. <laughs> this is peppermint. It's for children. <laughs> oh my god, man. The jumper repeater grenade Actually, three oh yeah, jumper repeater. So they intentionally the made it jump and fucking explode. Yeah, that's that's what you want in a in a safe grenade. Notice that guy doesn't have all his fingers. Oh, he does. <laughs> I, I just I thought he only. <laughs> wow. Yep, thirty-seven millimeter gas gun. Yeah, he's like, oh god, dude, that's that's some serious tear gas. He's like, oh, yeah. we we put a point on it so it sticks in him. <laughs> I thought I thought that guy only had three fingers. <laughs> <laughs> These are chief engineer. Yeah, yeah. We call him Lefty for reasons. Are these? Those are not cops. No, those are not. Those look like shop teachers. Oh my god! <laughs> is this anti-tank? Is is this an anti-tank tear gas round? <laughs> Fin stabilized. Oh, that's wonderful. Don't worry, it's only metal. I'm sure it's supposed to be like for windows. For oh, is he like oh, the? It's a kid. Is he's he? the salesman. He rollers yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. He's got he's got that, and he goes to departments, and he's like, knock, yeah, knock, he knock. Yeah, cold calls departments. Right, do you have a problem with hippies? I 
compact and efficient is mandatory equipment. Definitely not war surplus. The area yeah. Of course, put your fingers on the lenses. That that only helps. <laughs> you know that that fucking filter's full of like potpourri. Oh, sorry, I can't see out of my mask. Don't worry. Psychologically Just important swing. is the fact that tear gas itself is invisible. <laughs> no. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's a very... He just lets that thing rip in the classroom. He's just like, Now your shop teacher can destroy people. <laughs> uh, you wanted a little bit further away from you than that, friend. A smoke grenade is, is this game preparing for, like, detention? I mean, what's his... Yeah, so no, the... the Fucking gas chamber. They start lighting that off, and you're like, oh god, I've made a serious error. Well, I just love where he says it's invisible, and then they show smoke. Yeah, they show white smoke. But there is no substitute for field training. The shopkeeper leading the kids to, like, the house they're restoring. Yeah. instructor will demonstrate how each of the various types of munitions are discharged. He just starts shooting. He looks like Mr. Incredible before he got in shape. Yeah, he does. He's like, well, I'm going to shoot these kids with this rocket. <laughs> Who in... Yeah, in that shot, he looks like Lyndon B. Johnson. Jesus. Lyndon B. Johnson, law One enforcement. One of the kids is wearing white slacks, a the white button-up shirt, and a black belt. It's about to be brown. I just brown. want to know what One minion he is for <laughs> which supervillain. Yeah, look at him. He looks like he just escaped from a fucking mental hospital. Yeah, he does. Again, how many fingers? Island. How many fingers does this guy have? The discharge immediately empties the container, saturating the area. Because it does not burn. I just love if that grenade would go off oh, right there. Did you hear that? Tear gas isn't flammable. You oh. heard it from the Lake Erie Chemical Corporation. Surely they're still in business. Yes. Hey, they're giving it to the funds. <laughs> hey, poof. With great power comes great risk. Fucking run! Yeah, just pull that pull that pin and now we're dead. The grip on the strap handle controls the firing mechanism. All right, you let 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 go. Let go of the handle. Scrambles want. In throwing, the grenade is activated. That's a little close. Do, do none of these people know how to fucking throw a baseball? Internal combustion. Open like even if you don't do the whole rotate at the hips and shot putt the grenade thing that they teach you in basic. You gotta get it further away, especially that big bastard. The result of years that thing's gotta weigh like three pounds. It's it's filled it's filled with non-flammable <laughs> gas, you know. Mechanism is the same as that of the Model Thirty Four. The jumper. Uh huh. Standardized fuses. Yeah, this one. Decision. This this one is. Uh, he's like the Model Thirty Four. This one contains thermite. From different and unexpected locations, ten or twelve. Jesus, if. If no a thermite grenade just got in, the first oh no! Box of chemical grenades. Oh no! So they're <laughs> they're having a riot, and they just <laughs> you know they made both. Yes. <laughs> same assembly line, same cans. Just just one has a different label. Yeah, exactly. Not even not even a full thermite grenade. Just the white phosphorus smoke grenades. Yeah. So it's, so they just whip it at a crowd, and you just see skeletons start falling over, and they're like, "Oh no! Oh no! Uh, they came like that. They brought their own Halloween skeletons." <laughs> and the jumper repeater leaps into action. It keeps them guessing and on the move. Only three jumps. Yeah, it, th those are only mild explosions. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard the score marks on the pavement. Those are very mild, <laughs> mild and safe. It, it just burns concrete. While Don't worry. In appearance, the jumper repeater is somewhat larger than the M34 grenade. <laughs> it's somewhat larger. It's, it's like the size of fucking size. It's like the size of a muffler. <laughs> He's just, he's got this fucking fire extinguisher with a pin hanging out of it. And he's like, this one's only slightly bigger. Oh, they're going to tear gas each other. Excellent. You know, the guys in the background with the tear gas and everything that looks. Yes, clear, clear 
Tear gas. Excellent. Very clear, as you can see. But what what I think, man, that looks like an album cover right there. Look at it. Goddamn right, it does. Tear gas. Oh, especially boys. with those two coming out of the out of the smoke. Yeah, dude, this looks like a band. I'd go see this band. You know. Oh man, stalker. The guy in front, like they didn't tell us when to take off the mask. All right, congratulations! You're all going to mace yourselves in the shower because that's all over you. Is oh, only twenty-two ounces. Only. Oh yes. It will spew over That's not a, a considerable distance. No. After it leaves the muzzle of the gas gun. I, I think it'd be funny if he just unloaded that into that guy's gut, you know, <laughs> point blank range. I, I think it's essentially a shotgun slug. It is. He's like, he's like, uh, will just this really low pressure? Will this, will this work on birdhouses? Jesus Christ! Doesn't help. The guy looks like Elmer Fudd. Well, that looks like Elmer Fudd's shotgun. It does. I'm hunting for wabbits. And... Kadunk. Oh, yeah, that's non-lethal. It just takes a chunk out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then explodes. Its aluminum casing opens along a square line without... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's very safe. Once again, frangible metal, you know. The one and, a half inch uh, and there's a big boy. Yeah, shell. he's like, he's like, hey, you, you get this out in case those those people just keep coming. It's the short range defensive shell. Oh yes, very defensive. Such wow. If that's just double up buck covered in like cayenne pepper, I'm gonna laugh. Oh God, please. See that guy's getting excited. DB Cooper wants to oh, shoot yeah. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> At that distance, so ten yards will spread approximately fifteen feet. Uh, so is it just like a Joker gas gun then? Just yeah, like, <laughs> Batman. Yeah, just just give my cloud boop the snoot with like eight thousand Scovilles. <laughs> We're gonna turn Timmy loose, and now he'll show those people not to laugh at him in metal shop because he can't draw a bead with a welder. Again, with the short range shell. The blast is directed at the feet of the crowd. Because <laughs> it'll kill him if you point anywhere else. It, it will remove the feet and therefore their ability to riot. It's hard to riot without feet. I learned this in RimWorld. <laughs> I like how there was a true. I like how there was a cut there. You know, just just yeah, a cut. So clearly they fucked up this shot where he loaded the shell. It probably exploded. You really think about it. It takes it takes a long time to aim at the feet. It'd be funny if those targets just burst into flames afterward. Yeah, that it just shot chunks of something at the feet. Fired from the True Flight gun has an effective range of about 200 yards. Yeah, cuz it's a metal okay. fin stabilized rocket. All of the gas in the projectile <laughs> is delivered at the target since it is released by means of an instantaneous impact fuse. Oh my god. Holy shit, this is terrifying. Oh my god. Okay, this fucking okay, mouse. Then. This mouse won't go away. Like, it's it's literally just floating in the screen. I admit to make it go away, I clicked a bit and maybe fired some rounds. Oh my god, the Blood Dragon car. I remember the shit out of this game. It was a beautiful celebration of the 1980s. Yeah, I'd rather enjoy Blood Dragon. Yeah, no. Same, sir. Yeah, yeah, no. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna drive the Blood Dragon car because this is this is a neon highlight to my high life. Oh, yeah, yeah, got you. That's right. I'm uh, sorry. That's called deer hunting. Illegal hunt. unless we stop to pick it up. Uh, I'm just gonna remove its skin. Is that legal? <laughs> I, I'm just wondering for a friend. I don't think you can sell animal skins with tire marks on them. At least you couldn't in Texas. Never mind. Uh, so. It says this is a place on the map to go. Oh, shit, I almost ran that lady over. Good day, Madam Tumblr. What can I do for you? Sold my kids, joined a cult. That's cool. a Jerry Springer episode. Yeah, it is. He was such a great ringmaster. He knew how to, like, really put the worst people together. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, uh, where is that? 1,600 meters? Dude, I can do this off-road. I know what I'm doing. So, anyways, what's this supposed to be? Like a gremlin or a pacer? It takes a lot of design cues, I think, from Pontiac as well. 
it feels yeah, yeah no i mean like tail end of pontiac before they completely died isn't that sad i mean yeah the gto and then garbage well and then like the last uh -oh. stuff that they put out was the uh the pontiac vibe and shit oh i flooded it yeah we killed it sorry it's all those uh ungrounded electronics played well with water yeah, it's fine. Well, it's 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 a stealth op. Uh, drive it down the road into a river. Fuck! Anyway, or a lake. It's, but that's a pond, but... Hey! We got something. Do we? Dynamite. What? Oh my god, I meant to do this. Oh my god, it's a fucking badger. Oh god, it's got me. I, I may have killed you. There we go. Yeah. I, I only shot you a handful of times in the face with 308. That, that was... yeah. But no, some. I, uh, go I ahead. Twenty-two with breakfast to build up immunity. Well, so. you got to build up that caliber immunity, you know. Is that horn? Is that thing fucking the other one? Uh, yeah. All right, so hold on, let me. There's actually a mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just almost got hit by cow. Damn, they just meet. Yeah. Didn't think C4 would really do much. Well, I mean, it's it's a cutting charge. It's not really a lifting charge, but you know. Yeah. Beef's beef, huh? Is that a bear? Yes, that's a bear. It's laying down some suppressive fire for you. You know, that's what's weird about a bear is I know they they're pretty tough, but I don't think they can take all that. Um, <laughs> well, you've got what 45? No, you've got 308. Yeah, I'm Could thinking. Tell you had the lever gun. So yeah, we just put close to 60 rounds of 308 into that. 308's not the most powerful round, but it's also no slouch. Harvests good deer, that's for sure. Nice. A harvests most any. Also, I, I have to say, this is a game that has some reloads that are really fucking fast, and and I, I don't think the average law enforcement guy is that fast when it comes to reloads. Uh, gun guys are actually not as common in law enforcement. I know. I, I was surprised to find that. I, I spoke with a cop who was, um, you know, in. I was like, how often do you guys shoot? And he's like, oh, I shoot maybe once a month. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, he's on the high side now. I know many who don't shoot except to qualify yearly. That's insane. All right, so we got to get this lady's baby to something, you know? This is one of them racing missions or something. Hey, I can hit her in the face with this. Is that part of a birthing technique? Is that like a, one of them new age? Well, all of the muscles would relax. Do not kill innocent <laughs> civilians. I didn't. This time. <laughs> you body panel checked them so hard you killed the passenger. Listen, listen. Shit happens, okay? I'm delivering a life here. We'll be back to investigate the accident, sir. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I like your idea earlier where, you know, a slow burn for the start of this game, the first few hours is just routine police work and you slowly start to see things go crazy. I think that well, a, uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, it's, this game is so short anyway when you actually put your uh, nose to the grindstone and just chug through it, it takes a couple hours. You know what I think would be crazy is if they added a lot of really insane, surrealistic, supernatural stuff uh, to this. You know what I mean? Like, add, add some crazy stuff as to why the cult uh, suddenly is so powerful or what have you. Don't make it like, oh, it's yeah. rooted in science. They suddenly have these biochemistry experts who can create mind control drugs in rural Montana. Because, you, well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause you we do something like that and you get a dichotomy like they did in Metal Gear Solid 1 where you've got four hours of just really good military gameplay and then suddenly a mind control floating ghost shows up. Yeah, and, and, and then you go, oh, oh, what is that? And you want to know more, you know? It starts to bring yeah. you into the lore of the universe. Like, why is why is it like that? And I I, they, they had enough to hear that they could have really played around with the idea and taking their time with it. They didn't have to rush through it all with forced interaction once you hit a certain mile post and all that shit. No, no, no. I mean, you you want the player show not tell. You you want to you want you want to draw the player in and you want to make them go investigate this shit on their own. Not like abduct them, sit them down, buckle them in and go, "Attention! Now is the time that you do X, Y, and Z." And you're like, "Oh fuck, come on. This is weird." Okay, if if this was if this was a movie if this was a movie set, uh, let, let's say this is a classic 80s movie. So everyone's got Uzis and giant fucking laser, laser sights or like a Jaddy Matic, you know, or something like that. 
what what would the movies what would the movie title be like Tex and the Deputy in Tex and the we, Deputy we could go straight pulp and go something like Night of the Cold oh or or Tex and the Deputy in Montana Big Sky Country <laughs> soundtrack by 38 Special <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's how you drive these trucks. Just go. Big Sky Justice. Oh. Yeah. Beep, beep, boys. Excuse me. You fellers with a cult? <laughs> <laughs> Do not kill innocent civilians. Best I bet switch to that flamethrower then. A little more precise. Hi. How's it going, buddy? When's a cultist not a cultist? When he is on fire. I want to see a game where flamethrowers are modeled realistically. I, I really Correctly. do. Yeah, where you just hit them with it and they die. There's no, like, anything other than, like, epic crazy. That may have the correct range. Yeah, correct range, and it doesn't shoot fire, it shoots flaming liquid. Oh, look. These guys in the truck. So nice of them to give me the truck like that. Yeah. See, you can call your friends. We'll kill them, too. Yeah, bring, bring all your buddies. I don't have to go chase him down. And like all the scorch marks from what I did are still there. Mmm. Did he bring that cow back to life? <laughs> I was about to ask that question. No, so, okay, here's, here's, here's my take on this. Uh, here's my take on this. What if, and let's loot this place while we discuss the crazy, but... What if you had uh, a game that was normal, but then you started seeing the really surreally culty stuff and people swearing that he did magic, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you find out that they're like a cult cult, uh, much like the crazy 1980s uh, cult and, you know... But yeah, anyways, you, you end up with a crazy cult cult and all the, all the, all the bad stuff that that entails. So you end up with this really insane... Uh, moment in the game where like you kill a whole bunch of these guys you kill a whole shitload of them on on this cult leader's front porch and he comes out in his robes and he's backlit with fucking flames and then all of a sudden he uh says some incantations and all of the dead get up and you're like oh okay. oh okay you know you realize That's a little bit beyond yeah and then you re then then you get the game to be really crazy like really crazy you know, it, they're like, it's not just a cult, it's blood magic, and, you know, just crazy shit. And, you know, that would make a lot more sense than just, I'm a Jesus cult without Jesus. So what? Far Cry 5 takes place in not just America, but the Big Sky Country, a place where rugged individualism is the name of the game. Yeah. And they chose to have a silent protagonist in stark contrast to the fact that any American couldn't stay silent fighting a force so comedically evil. This no. guy's practically fucking Cobra Commander's right-hand man. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's so awful. All right, return the cows, got it. What's my horn again? F, F for f horn. F for f French horn. This is actually not far off from how you actually- I know. Wind up doing this. Bitch, oh, you wanna- yeah. Yeah, see? That's how you do it. Shoot that one. That's it. Oh my god. Oh, they're shooting at me because I shot their pole. Yep. Looks like it's time for uh, one of them cult massacres. Don't know what happened to this outpost. All right. I like that you're always just splashed with blood. Let's just get out of here in our happy in our happy murder wagon. So I mean, look at that. It's it's easy money. But okay. Just put bull horns on it. Oh god, that would be great. Oh shit! Man, I'm getting good at this. God damn. Um, one thing I will give these guys, they got they got the feel of those old pickups right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where you hit the brakes and you just skid on a trace. So good. And it makes noise. Yeah. No, the driving in this is fine. There's plenty of elements that are good. We're we're really ragging on it, but well, the well, reason why is it was so close to being a fantastic game. That's that's what I mean. It's it's like when I complain about Space Station 13, it's not because I hate Space Station 13. I play a lot of Space Station 13. The reason I complain about Space Station 13 is because I see an opportunity for something to become fucking perfect. And that's that's where I, I raise my complaints, you know? 
because it's um, it's it's one of those things where I could go, God, this could have been phenomenal. Um, and that's where maybe heavy modding comes in. But is that a cult? Hold on. Yep. Not for long. Hello, where the police? Oh man, that's a good price for gas. Hi, cult. How's it going? Gas pumps. I just uh, released a wolf, so be careful. Stop resisting. They're going for the. There we go. Oh, I, I don't care if they're going for that. John Moses Browning is with me. <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> Good lord! Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> I threw a stick of dynamite in his truck, and he yelled, good lord. <laughs> so we didn't coordinate with anybody. Who are all these fucks? <laughs> Just opportunists. <laughs> they saw a mushroom <laughs> cloud. They're like, when that gunfire stops, we go in there. Yeah, the, the mission accomplished should just be the entire facility laid to waste. Who's, who's making this pizza? Like, where's this getting delivered from? It is weeks old. Depending on the that pizza. Is pre reaping pizza. Pre reaping pizza. Begin the reaping! Hey, it's the jail. It's a massive jail for a county with like three fucking cops. I got two. Who guards this? What are they breaking down the gate with? A bunch of Kimber 45s? Uh, excuse me, it's the custom two. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But it's one of the cheapest of their line. Had a modestly priced $8,000. <laughs> No, <laughs> what I'm thinking is, what they should have had was, you see the cult with like a battle bus that they've made, and they're backing it into the front gate, right? <laughs> and and right as it punches through the front gate, you see a ramp on the back of the bus come down, and you see like 800 coked up dudes run out the back, and they've got like machetes and molotovs, and they're just assaulting like crazy. Yep, covered in bandages. Yeah, like, shit, not, shit like not that would make sense. Burnt, but as a, uh, like, boxer style, if I pre-apply tourniquets, then I don't bleed when shot thing. You know what have made these cult guys even more creepy is if their leader wasn't all, like, sinister, as if he was a Mr. Rogers style character? He's just like, this is an extra special day, friend. I'm glad you joined us. I'd really appreciate it if you'd just help us out here. Lay down no. your guns and come willingly. <laughs> the reaping has begun, neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't mean to talk shit about Fred Rogers. Like he, he defined. No, guy was fantastic. Fantastic but, human being, fan fucking tastic uh, human being. That familiarity is what would create the uneasiness from it. Yeah. So you know exactly how he acted. You know that's what they're drawing. Right. I mean, you, you could say it's a manufactured thing, and you only see the really dark side of that cultist uh, thing. Maybe later on, but on the surface at front, maybe you, you front load it with a with a bunch of moments like that where you start going, Oh my god, what if this is a good guy? And then you see that dark side of it and you go, No, he's manipulating these people. So you feel betrayed and act on it, you know? I'm sorry, who is this? How would he not know who we were? He was supposed to be the fucking mayor of the county for some reason. Oh. So yeah, he should know. Especially since there's only three cops in the county. You think that maybe once a month the mayor and the sheriff and maybe like all five deputies plus the dispatchers would like sit down at a diner and eat dinner and just kind of talk about what's going on? Even just all the paperwork that you wind up serving when you're doing just random civil process stuff. And I, I know I talked about... Oh, my God, it's locked. He locked us in here. Jesus Christ, we have to talk to him. Oh, God. Hey, hold on. Here. No, get over here. Get over here. Give me your shoes. I'm going to pry this vent off, and we're going to crawl through it. Maybe we don't... Maybe... Okay, how do we... It's like an escape room. Um, okay, maybe if I lick both of my thumbs and grab those cables, I won't have to talk to him. Maybe I'll do, like, the 60 hertz dance, you know? I'm going to have to talk to this guy. Yeah, this one's locked, too. Shit. I've got dynamite, but for some reason I don't think that'll work. <laughs> just before. says I can skip this, but it lied. Oh. Did he just drug us? Did that just happen for you? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the game remembered we hadn't encountered that yet. Just yeah. Well, it's like a D oh, this is what he's talking about. No, but it's like a DM. A, a, a DM going, uh, oh yeah, by the way, you all have, you're all, you all, you're all diseased. And you're like, wait, what? Oh yeah, you've been diseased for like 10 sessions. But no, you can't just tack that on. Well, the book says and I forgot. Oh. You dig? No character revealed. Reach the misery. Uh, you mean re reach the state of misery? Because I'm already there. Oh my god, now he's gonna talk to us over the fucking radio? Oh, that handled it. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I set the sheriff on fire. I saw that. Howdy, friend. Looks like he was ready to... Oh my god, what? <laughs> Why? That's horrible. Because of the hat. Because of the hat. There's some insane ones. I, uh, I didn't realize that it just lets me watch, too. It's doing all of the changes as you rotate through. <laughs> it is I! eight ball for a head right now. <laughs> it is I, eight ball, come to bring your justice! <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. Um, I'd just like to buy a hat. I need a proper law enforcement hat, man. That's well, not bad. I know, people are gonna say, Tex, you should use your silver bars for stuff, and I'll be like, no. How much are silver bars? Oh my god. It recommends uh, for me to buy $50 of silver bars. Uh, counter offer, I leave. Okay, first of all, this has been here a while. Why does this police department have like an overgrown parking lot? Look at this, it's completely overgrown. It's some fort from like 1900, and it's got burned out vehicles in it. Like this has been here 20 years. Now, granted, I do believe that Hope County would let the parking lot go as far as cracks and that kind of thing. But still, this is uh, just too too bizarre to me. Who decided they didn't need the wheels on this bus? This looks very, um, bad guy from 1980s action movie. It, it, it really does. Like, this is something Rambo would shoot his bow and arrow at and spear the driver and a, his head would explode. And why is, why is this whole place so trippy? I don't like it. No, I mean, the, uh... We're getting a contact high from the county itself. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, and so this is what it's like to be DEA agents, I guess. Yeah, uh, I, I found 499 kilos of cocaine. It's a weird number. 498, actually. Oh my god, is that guy getting attacked by, uh, animals? Animal control, yeah. get him. There we go. Last time I gave LSD to a wolf, I just got a stern talking to from Wildlife Park. But here they do it and they become trained attack animals. Isn't that weird? Oh, what is this shit? Now we're DEA guys. Yeah, I mean this is this is more fun. I mean, helicopter cops is a is a much better concept than the game they came up with. Oh, we rescued that civilian. We did. We should leave before they can spawn. Yeah, we're liberating it, guys. Remember, we are liberators, not occupiers. Exactly. We're uniters, not dividers. I'm using my silencer, because otherwise they might hear me. Out of tribute. Those planes are not even in the game. Yeah. So why is that crash here? All right, I'm going to get out, and hopefully I landed that right. Yeah, barely. Cool. Ooh, $30. Oh, and another... No, yeah, I mean... A med kit. Wow. Uh oh. No! Oh god. Damn it. Man, this shop teacher ain't fucking around. I want to see this thing go. I do too. Please tell me they got slow motion. In this time? No. They're just going to show a white cloud and cut real hard and be like, see, that works. <laughs> A white cloud clearly on another range. Yeah. What's he aiming at? A plane? Trying to shoot the Apollo mission? Uh, you see that guy recoil under that? that yeah. That fucking kicked him. Dude, it's a metal rocket. <laughs> Window targets 50, 75, and 100 yards away are easily hit. Put it through the wall. Put it through the wall. Come on. I see pieces oh. everywhere. Yeah. I, I... A demonstration with a smoke filled shell proves True Flight's capacity for saturation. <laughs> and now. Again, clear. <laughs> and now the house is on fire. That won't come back to bite them in the ass. Oh my in god. Approximately. The projectile uh, 30 has years. sufficient weight and velocity to penetrate light board partitions. Yes! Power. He's putting Oh head. shit! Yes! Oh <laughs> wow. <laughs> non-lethal. Yes, non-lethal, but it'll punch through fucking inch OSB. <laughs> yeah, that's clearly uh clearly 
did exactly what it's designed to there do. There is no fire hazard involved in the use of Lake Erie grenades and projectiles. Because that's Ooh. water. Is <laughs> as a non-flammable vapor and cannot cause fire. Yeah, because you just used water and water doesn't burn. <laughs> it's, it's easy to do that. See, look, it's perfectly safe. As, as he touches it with just his four fingers so he doesn't fucking... Okay. I'll accept that that was at least lighter fluid. It was probably kerosene. Occupy the area where tear gas is present. Light and compact... So you just wear the box? Yeah, you just have the box and you're like, Don't make me open the box! What's in the box? Why wouldn't you package it with the canister on it so it doesn't take four minutes to put into use? Because... The canisters are full of potpourri. The aluminum canister. Uh, dude, they're full of asbestos and charcoal is what they're full breathing. of. You know that thing's probably full of, like, car air freshener shit, you know? <laughs> so he's like... The, the you pop it open and it's just chopped up pine trees. Yeah, it's a refreshing scent of pine. All right, Jimmy. You've been a bad boy. Without ill effect. I wonder if it's like whoever gets lowest on this test gets gassed. But look at those creases in those pants, man. Hell yeah. He's a man about town. You took that off a little too soon. He's starting to feel it. That's why they cut. Sir, <laughs> sir, can you please not talk and gesture with a grenade? I'm a little scared. And to use these air currents to advantage. Smoke filled <laughs> munitions are used again. So that we may easily follow the drift. We're just dust in the wind, man. <laughs> On a windy day in a large open area, tear gas may be carried in the air a considerable distance from the point of discharge. If existing uh, yes. wind conditions are properly appraised, gas can be released many yards from the target zone and move intact into the area where its effects are needed. Yeah, get them. Again, I'd love if those just burst into flames. And if the wind conditions are not currently this favorable, you can drop napalm on the far side of the target. Vapor, It'll cause a wind towards effect the effect. The and generate smoke. Hover, yes. I am a human. These are human words. The gas hovers. It hovers over the Oreo. <laughs> In a closed building, tear gas will remain effective for days. Or that guy's got a badge. By ventilation. Dun, 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 dun. He's like, I'm going to do some bad shit. Gas cops. <laughs> His badge says hole monitor. Yeah, it does. When pursued criminals... All right, remember, squat and shoot, squat and shoot. ...in abandoned buildings, cellars, and other hiding places, valuable time can be saved... Oh, the sergeant's I, got my, a plan. Minimize my name is Sergeant Tear Gas, because I tear gas everybody in every situation. All right, you bums. Into this basement. Tear gas will reduce the hazard of making the arrest. So will a shotgun snoot down there. All right, let's go around this way. They won't see us Ooh. under the cover of noon. Ooh, that is old school. Flaps on the holsters. God damn. That's like some 30 shit. That's awesome. His hat came off. Minus five good boy points. <laughs> no, he dumped the hat, so he more tactically put on the uh, respirator. Which is conveniently not in the box, so he didn't have to assemble it. But yes, we are putting it in the basement. We talked about this. Boom! 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 Ah, he had a candy bar, not a gun. <laughs> that poor, poor woman that owns that house. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like the next six months she's going to be like, do you smell pepper every time she takes something out of that basement? Every time I go get potatoes, I start weeping. In the case of armed, barricaded criminals, 
The objective is to oh, they're going to walk us through every scenario that we saw in the beginning, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, except then you're going to see that fucking rocket come through that wall and take one of their heads just, off. It's a, yeah, just go through their head and the other... <laughs> wow. Oh, they did break the glass. Nice. Nice. Look at these guys. If you're guys. getting shot at, the tear gas is no longer really the best option, is it? No, no. They're like, let's go get the quad 50. <laughs> <laughs> is is he wearing available. jack boots? Many law enforcement agencies provide each patrol unit with tear gas munitions for calling in airstrike over have a specially trained gas squad ready for a gas assignment. squad. Call the gas squad. Dun, dun, that, that's dun. a hell of a job title though. Could you imagine Gas Squad, the TV show? Yes. Yes. It's like just the facts, ma'am. I'm on the gas squad. <laughs> I gotta load these because I emptied them all, well, off screen, coincidentally. Dun 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 dun. Oh, here comes Gas Squad. Watch him just take yep. the door off that other car. Oh, he almost rear-ended it. That Dude, he was trying to stop for the last hundred yards. Yeah. All right, let's see. Make Gas. this look real. What, what if he opens that and it's just got a Thompson in it, and he's like, "Oh well." <laughs> Shame. Jesus, how much equipment do you need, Gas Squad? Just grab a couple gas grenades. Yeah, but they have to chip play the music because Gas Squad is here. They're like, oh god, it's these guys. <laughs> They're like, hey, I get to play with the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the gas, Jim. I'm giving him the gas. I'm giving him the gas. Gas police. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> okay, so clearly this is a short range sort of. Yeah, no. Nope. How many okay. rockets does he want to use? The specific purpose of tear gas is to cause evacuation. <laughs> Avenues of exit for the criminals must be considered. Officers should be I thought that's called the grave. So can cover the <coughs> Excuse me. Gas squad. Coming to you live. <laughs> gas squad. This week on NBC. Three guys, 138, trapped in riot town he's like come over I'm here just, he's still wearing his uh his aviators that man is too cool for school yeah gas squad's cool they get the goggles because their eyes are constantly red from drinking and gas <laughs> yeah poke your head up that's fine you oh won't lose oh it. they're getting it you just see it go through the wall you just see it go through the oh. wall, and, and one guy comes out with the rocket in him, and the smoke's coming out of his mouth. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, how many of those are going in there? Yeah, they just keep throwing them. The guy's like, no, not a jumper! No, not the gas! They look at best mildly inconvenienced. <laughs> they coincidentally all drop their guns. Yeah, they don't come out Crazy shooting. Crazy how that works in the training videos. <laughs> Everybody's popping the squat. In this simulated they all watch the FBI training video. Where it has been decided that tear gas will be employed. It should be an all-out... Uh -huh. Attention factory workers. Please return <laughs> to your shifts. He's got a crutch. He's got injury. a fucking crutch. That's right. Destroy those cripples trying to get honest day's wages with gas. Do you think this was outside the Lake Erie Chemical Company? These people are all mad that they're like <laughs> these they're, people are all employees. Yeah, they're, they're like just like we fired these people to get a realistic set of circumstances for this. Yeah, gas. they 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 shut <laughs> they tested gas on these employees, right? <laughs> and they're just mad. Oh no, the security guard got hit. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Where'd the crowd go? Uh-oh, it's Gas Squad. It's Gas Squad. Uh, in the station wagon. Yeah, The station wagon's always the specialty, guys. No, take your time, grab the helmet. Yeah, okay. I like how they have Old Cop. He's he's probably seen the Great War, so he knows how this gas thing works. <laughs> I was gassing Jerry's before you were twinkling your daddy's eyes, son. Put on the fucking helmet. Well, it's time to take out the Kaiser. 
Tear gas will cause movement away from the area it covers, and the route of escape should be provided by the placement of the gas. <laughs> All right, time to kill him. <laughs> Hit him with that phosgene, boys. <laughs> Gas Police, coming to you from the Knife Fight City cinematic universe. Gas Police. That is an ap apocalyptic photo right there. The riot police and gas mass marching up with 37 millimeter shotguns. Lake Erie's grenades and projectiles immediately saturate the target area without fire. Did he just fire a rocket into the crowd? Yeah, I think he did, and they cut away very quickly. They did. Oh, dude, they've got little pockets for their uh, billy clubs. That's nice. Yeah, take that, lady in crutches. Justice for all. They're like, all we wanted was a health plan. And they're like, yeah, get out of here, commie. Yeah, the, the riot squad is known for their ability to lightly jog after the, uh, the protesters as they leave. <laughs> Notice these blast areas. Don't be here, you'll be missing limbs. In the classroom and that guy's way too happy. Did you see that? That guy's smiling. Oh, yeah. He, he's got like a huge boner under that desk. From gas supplies on hand, which have reached the three-year expiration date. Munitions may be drawn for field exercises for all personnel. Or shop teachers. <laughs> when the situation calls for <laughs> gas, it should be used efficiently and in enough quantity to assure complete saturation. <laughs> all right, From what do we want? We want $5. It is the safest and most humane deterrent to violence and resistance to lawful authority. Gas police. There is a Lake Erie. Fiverr started. Oh, this is where I'm getting all my album covers. Fuck yeah. Lake Erie Chemical Company. Control and disperse the riotous mob or evacuate the barricaded criminal. Oh, they've even got it on each projectile. Nice. Dun, 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 America. Oh, there's no this side towards enemy on that? Aww. I suppose there is an arrow. I mean, pointing in toward bad guy, right? Usually. Usually. Do you trust cops to be that smart? I don't. I work with them. No. Yeah. What if there was a mash F and you saw just a claw hammer come out on the side and you just beat her head flat? <laughs> you like, have to mash F as hard as you can to try and bring it closer to her skull. Yeah. And then like, there's a whole scene where she's like tied up and it starts playing stuck in the middle with you and you have a uh, turkey electric carving knife. <laughs> And like, I do the carving, and the player two splashes gas on. <laughs> and it's and it's time, so you do it with the music, you know. And I don't want to. Yeah, the GTA Five scene should have been. Oh yeah. That's one thing that I think people will overlook it they, they will overlook and look back on and say that like Saints Row 2 and 3 were genius games for their era for co-op. You know. Yeah. Just massively brilliant co-op gameplay. And it in they they were hilarious, but absolutely flawed because Well, no one gave a shit about them. It was all about what the next big game was. We might have to play those. See, yeah. You can call your friends. We'll kill them too. Yeah. Bring bring all your buddies. Then <laughs> I don't have to go chase them down. <laughs> 